Hi everyone, my name is Rahul Randive and today we are going to see how to create an alert for databases in Azure SQL Manage instance using Azure Portal. Alert can send you an email or call you on the phone or send a text message when some metrics such as for example instance storage size or CPU uses reaches a predefined threshold. Basically, you can receive an alert based on monitoring metrics for or events on your Azure services. Matrix values. The alerts triggers when the value of a specified matrix crosses a threshold you assign in either direction. That is, it triggers both when the condition is made and then afterwards when that condition is no longer being made. You can configure an alerts and it can triggers and send email notifications to the service administrator and co-administrators. It can send email to additional emails that you specify. It can also call a phone number with a voice prompt or also can send a text message to a phone number. Now let's see how we can create an alert rules on a matrix with Azure portal. In the Azure portal, Locate the Manage instance you are interested in monitoring and select it. Select the Matrix menu item in the Monitoring section. On the Matrix drop-down menu, select one of the matrix you wish to set up your alerts on. Storage space use is shown in this example. Use aggregations to select the aggregation spirit, average, minimum, or maximum reach in the given time period. Select new alert rule. Now you are in create an alert rule page. Here you can select an operator. You can select a unit and a threshold value. I have passed a value of is used representing a threshold value of 1.8 terabyte. As the operator in the example is said to greater than the alerts will be created if the storage space consumptions on the manage instance goes over 1.8 terabyte. Note, note that the threshold value for the storage space matrix must be expressed in MBs. Once you enter all the values, select next action at the bottom of the page or the actions tab. In the actions tab, select or create the required actions group. The action group defines that what will happen upon triggering an alert, for example, sending an email or calling you on the phone, if you need to create a new actions group here. Once the create an actions group page opens, enter the values here with respect to instance details in which actions group name and the display name. Select next notifications at the bottom of the page or the notifications tab. In the Notifications tab, define a notification to send when the alerts is triggered. Here, you'll get two options in the Notifications type. One, select Email Azure Resource Manager role to send an email to user who are assigned to certain subscriptions levels Azure Resource Manager roles, or email uh, SMS message to send various notifications types to a specific recipients. You have to enter the name, enter a unique name for the notification. Click on OK and go to the next action. In the action page, if you need to define a list of actions to trigger when an alert is triggered, select the actions tab and define the action such as executes a workbook, Azure function or run book or create an ITSM ticket in your compatible system. Next is the tag. If you'd like to assign a key value pair to the actions group, select the tags tab. Otherwise, skip these steps. By using tags, you can categorize your Azure resources. To review your setting, select review plus create tab. These steps quickly check your inputs to make sure you have entered all required information. If there are any issues, they are reported here. After you have reviewed the setting, select create to create the actions group. The create actions group is created. The next is the details tab. 
In the details tab, fill in the alerts, rules, details and setting for your records and select the severity type based on your need. You also have the options to use the to use the custom properties to add your own properties to the alert. Next, in the tax tab, set and require tags on the alert resources otherwise skip. In the review plus create tab, validations will run and inform you of any issues. When validation passes and you have reviewed the setting, select the create button at the bottom of the page to create the rules. Once the alert rule created, the new alert rule will become active within a few minutes and will be triggered based on your setting. As you can see in the screen, the alert rules for my storage space going above 1.8 terabytes successfully created. If the alert rules met with an criteria and if your alerting options was email, you might receive an email such as shown here. This is how you can set up the alerts and you can see the configured alerts under the alert sections of monitoring. Here is the alerts which we have created. Thanks for watching.